This series of videos will illustrate the concepts in resource allocation with a hypothetical case the American Business University. This, the first video in the series, illustrates creating a full resource allocation model, something that is more involved than what most of you will be using for your projects. The second video will illustrate an abbreviated case consisting of the structuring steps up to the measurement steps. You can refer to earlier videos for how to do any time or team time measuring. Third video will rely on supplied measurements to illustrate the synthesis step. We will then have another video to illustrate the beginnings of the resource allocation part. To begin with, click on this link and that will download a Word document that we can use to uh, extract information for the construction of our models. In exercise one, which you can skip if you're short on time, but you might want to just look at the videos, we'll create a new comparing project with a full hierarchy. To do that, we will copy the objectives and subjectives on pages two and three of the ex uh, excerpt file to the clipboard and then put it into a new comparing model. And so here I will highlight and select the objectives and sub-objectives on page two and three. Press Control C. Let me go back one slide here. Create a new project in Comparion. So we're in Comparion now. Select New Project. The group number, I'll just put 00, zero for mine. ABU full. And then my initials. And then the default options, choose resource, a portfolio resource allocation. Okay, once it's done, we'll go to structure objectives. And I've already put the uh, objectives on the clipboard. So I'll say add level below, paste from the clipboard, say okay. And now we have our objectives and here's our objectives hierarchy. Then we'll go to the alternatives. We'll add alternatives, but before we do that, we'll go back to the extract document word. And we'll go to page five and copy the list of candidate projects to the clipboard by highlighting and control C. Notice there are two projects, four and 11, which we call activity level. So there are three different ways in this case to do each of the project or not at all. And each has their own benefits and costs. And we may select one or none of each of these, but not more than one of uh, four or more, more than one of 11. Now we'll go back to Comparion and we'll add alternatives by pasting from the clipboard. And so now we have our objectives and our alternatives. And then we continue on next with contributions. But this model is a little bit too large to work with, so we'll work with a smaller model in the next video to illustrate contributions, participants, and participant roles.